Good afternoon. The Secretary-General will preview the meeting of foreign ministers in Riga next week and then... We will address uh, Russia's continuing military build-up in and around uh, Ukraine. This is the second time this year that Russia has massed uh, large and unusual concentration of forces uh, in the region. This includes heavy capabilities like tanks, artillery, armored units, drones, and electronic warfare systems, as well as combat-ready troops. This uh, military buildup is unprovoked and unexplained. Russia must show transparency, reduce tensions, and de-escalate. NATO's approach to Russia remains unchanged. We keep our defense and deterrence strong while remaining open for dialogue. We regret that Russia has cut off diplomatic ties with NATO because in times like uh, this, uh, dialogue is more important than ever. We will also discuss the situation in the region with uh, Georgia and Ukraine. They are close and highly valued partners that aspire for membership. And NATO supports them both politically and practically. Since the Cold War, NATO reduced the number of nuclear weapons in Europe by more than 90%. All allies support the goal of a world without nuclear weapons. And NATO is determined to maintain its leading role on arms control. But we should not be naive. Russia continues to develop and deploy new weapon systems. Just last week, Russia conducted a reckless anti-satellite missile test, which put the International Space Station at risk. China is also rapidly expanding its conventional and nuclear arsenal, providing no transparency about its capabilities and showing little interest to engage in arms control. Finally, we will address the developments in the Western Balkans. The region is of strategic importance uh, for NATO. It has come a long way since the conflicts of the 1990s. But we have recently seen tensions rise. In Kosovo, NATO troops are working together with EU diplomats to ease tensions on the border and implement the recent agreement between Belgrade and Pristina. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, we strongly support the unified state structures and the country's multi-ethnic armed forces. But we are concerned about the inflammatory rhetoric coming from Republika Srpska.